Want to learn how to quickly copy sheets between workbooks? Let me help. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work, where we offer straightforward, non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter, and improve your Microsoft Office skills. Now, if you're using my 100 plus steps to proficient workbook to improve your Excel skills, I've popped the topic number this video relates to in the description box. If you haven't yet claimed a copy of this workbook, I've also added a link to where you can grab yourself a copy. Right, here we have two workbooks. Over on the right, we have a workbook with historical data for January, February, March, and April. Now we're wanting to copy from this workbook over here, the May and June worksheets. So we'll start with the May worksheet and we'll look at how we can easily and quickly copy an individual sheet into another workbook. So let's start over on the workbook, the destination workbook, where we want to copy the information. So we'll just pop over to here and we're going to pop a new worksheet into this file. Now making our way back to our May worksheet, what we're going to do now is we're going to select the entire worksheet. So we'll make our way up to this little arrow up the top of the worksheet grid. One click and it will select the entire worksheet. Now you can also do this by clicking outside of the area, so make sure you're not on any data, and you can use Control A on the keyboard and that will select the entire worksheet as well. Now it's just that regular copy, so you can do a Control C or right click, copy. Now make your way over to the destination workbook and make sure you click onto cell A1. You must be on cell A1. If you're not on cell A1, you will see a horrible error come up on the screen. Now you can do a paste. Now you can obviously do a control V if you want to, or right click over the cell, and then you can just use your regular paste. And you have now copied the entire worksheet over into your destination file. And of course, at this point, you would just rename the sheet. So that's just copying one worksheet, but let's look at how we can copy multiple worksheets. So I'm just going to delete this worksheet, and let's start again. Now I'll just come over to our May, June file, and what we need to do here is we need to select every worksheet that will be copied over into our destination file. Now the easiest way to do this if you want every worksheet is to do a right click select all sheets and everything will be selected. We've only got two worksheets, but if you've got 25, that's a really quick way to do it. I'll just undo that, we'll just ungroup them. Or if you wanted to randomly select, you can just hold down your control key on the keyboard and you can select simply just by clicking onto the sheets that you want. So I'll just holding down my control key and clicking the sheets. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to do a right click over either one of those sheets. So any sheet that is selected, you can right click onto it and make your way up to move or copy. Now at this point, you can make your way up to the to book option up here. Clicking onto here, you'll see the Excel files that you currently have open. Now at this point, you need to select the file that you're going to be copying to. So it does make sense to have the destination file open prior to doing this move. If it's not open, you're not going to see it in the list. Okay, so we're now going to select price list history from the list. And you will see that as we do that, any existing worksheets that are in that file will be listed in the before sheet list below. Now what we want to do is we want to move our May and June worksheets, we'll copy our May and June worksheets, to the end. So we're going to go all the way down here. Now if I wanted them in front of January, of course I'd just select January, but we want to move them to the end of the list. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is very important. Please make sure you put a check mark in the create a copy. If you don't, you will actually move the worksheets out of the file. So do a create a copy, click onto OK, and you will see, if we just make our way over here, the May and the June worksheets have now been copied across into our destination file. So I hope this has helped you to see how quickly and how easily you can copy either a single worksheet or multiple worksheets between files in Excel. Now if this has been helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And if you use Excel and want to stay connected, please consider liking, following, subscribing, because I'm sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.